Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to look at circuits. I have drawn a little circuit up in front of you. So let's look at it. So we know that a circuit is a flow of electrons. Uh, so we'll start with the battery over here. Now this is a battery that contains three cells. So we'll just make a note there that that's the battery. You should all know that. Okay, and in the battery are these three cells, one, two, three. This is the positive end. The long line is the positive end of the battery and the short line is the negative end. Now, in reality, the electrons are flowing from the negative all the way along to the positive end. That's what's happening in reality. But we use conventional current, which is a little bit weird because it's the opposite of what's actually happening. So the electricity is flowing from, we say from positive to negative. So the blue arrows represent conventional current, okay? And that's what we use. Now, the reason we use conventional current is because when Benjamin Franklin was studying electricity, he thought that the, flow, the, the electrons are flowing from positive to negative. But what's actually happening is they're flowing from negative to positive. But don't worry, um, it's just semantics. It's a little bit weird, but we just have to go along with it. So it's stayed that way for hundreds of years and clearly they're not gonna change it. <clears throat> Moving along from the battery, we have an ammeter. That A1 represents an ammeter. And that is connected in series, okay? connected in series, meaning it's along these, between these uh, wires. That, let me just make a note there. These li lines here are all wires. They represent wires in real life, okay? And they're usually copper, because copper conducts electricity, okay? So it's a good conductor, so it allows the flow of electrons. Okay, then we have a resistor, the three ohm resistor there, and now we also have voltmeters. Now these measure the potential difference, which is in voltage. Okay, so that's a voltmeter here. These are all voltmeters, V1, V2, V3, and V4. Okay, sort that out quickly. And so those are the components. You've got your battery with your cells, your voltmeter connected in parallel, your ammeter connected in series, your resistors. And there's a few other things that they could add to the circuit, which you need to know. So you need to know your light bulb. Yes? Yeah, sure. Uh, there's the light bulb. There's your diode. Now your diode allows current in only one direction. A resistor with a line through it like this is called a rheostat or variable resistor, okay? And this means you can change the resistance. So while all of these other resistors, the three ohm, six ohm, four ohm, seven ohm are fixed, this variable resistor can be changed. So you can adjust it, adjust the resistance. And Another thing we have to just know is a switch. Okay, so if you see this, this is a switch. 
and this allows you to turn the circuit on and off. Okay, so that's the basics of an electric circuit. Uh, next lesson, we'll be going through uh, current.